Welcome back to The CVU Show. I'm your host, Colton. And I'm Noah, here to give you this week's news. This week was Spirit Week. If you didn't know, don't worry. It was a surprise for us, too. Monday was Funky Hat Day. Tuesday was Twin Day. Thursday was Throwback Thursday. And today, Friday, was anything but a backpack day. We hope everyone had fun with the final Spirit Week of the year. As the year begins to come to a close, CVU is planning a day for us to feel like community once again. After two years of COVID, Community for Unity, hosted by the Social Justice Alliance, gathers all the clubs and communities for CVU for an afternoon of community and learning. This will follow a half day on June 1st, starting from 1 p.m. and going until 4.30 p.m. We hope to see you there. The Visual Arts Department is pleased to announce that we have five students whose works were submitted for the 41st Annual Vermont Congressional Art Show, hosted by U.S. Congressman Peter Welsh. The winning artwork from Vermont, along with winning entries from all participating districts across the country, will be displayed for one year in the U.S. Capitol. A selection of Vermont student artwork will also be available in virtual galleries. Students Alex Lewis, Ian Mahaffey, Josie Sire, Vivian Source, and Jasmine Townsend submitted works including photographies, a drawing, and a watercolor painting. A special congratulations goes to Vivian, whose piece won the Judge's Choice Award. We now go to Frankie with sports. Hi, welcome to sports. I'm here at a CVU Ultimate Frisbee game waiting for the team to show up. I uh, may have taken a wrong turn though. Um, anyway, I can't see any sports, but I think it's likely that boys and girls lacrosse, Ultimate Frisbee, track and field, tennis, baseball, softball, and unified basketball will be playing at some point this week. And someone somewhere will be playing either at or against South Burlington High School. Um, having said that, I think I see someone throwing a frisbee over there, so I'm going to check, see if I can find any relevant sports news. Um, but that's it from me. Back to you in the studio. Thank you, Frankie. Coming up tomorrow, Saturday the 21st, at 5.45 p.m., Steve will be hosting our second annual Take Back the Night event. Take Back the Night is an international organization event that works to spread awareness and end all forms of sexual violence. This year, at CVU, there will be speakers, an open mic, a march, a raffle, and a candlelit vigil. We now go to Dot, who has an interview with the event coordinator, Chloe Silverman. Thanks, Colton. I'm here with Chloe Silverman, who's going to tell us a little more about Take Back the Night. So, what is Take Back the Night? So, Take Back the Night is the first global movement to spread awareness and raise like, support of legislation to end sexual violence. And where is it being held? So it's going to be at CVU at 545 this Saturday the 21st. We're going to meet in the library where we have a very exciting um, virtual session with the founder of Take Back the Night, Katie Questner. And then from there, we're going to move out and do a march down Mechanicsville, come back, have an open mic at the baseball fields, and a candlelight vigil. Do you pl uh, did CVU originally plan on having this be an annual event? So when I thought about doing this event last year, obviously I hoped that it would happen again in the future. We've taken some steps this year to form a specific kind of seasonal Take Back the Night Club. And so we're hoping that in the future students will continue like Julia Lamori or someone like that <laughs> will continue the club. Um, yeah, so I'd love for it to keep going. Okay, and what was your inspiration? Um, I think experiences of my own and also of family and friends. I think we talk a lot about how oftentimes night, being out at night can feel dangerous, especially for many people who identify as female. And so it's kind of about reclaiming that power to feel safe. And I think that's something that we, it's a message that we can all stand behind. Mm -hmm. uh, how can people help uh, outside of attending the event? So obviously the most helpful way to support is attending the event, but also raising awareness by visi visiting the Take Back the Night Foundation website. Um, another thing that would be helpful is like working with local organizations like HopeWorks or the Howard Center and really just talking about it and having the conversation even though it's uncomfortable. Okay. Well, I think that's everything. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, Chloe. Thank you for helping raise awareness for this very important cause. A reminder to seniors, exit experience presentations are next Tuesday and the rest of the school has the day off. Good luck, seniors. 
Family Fun Day is Saturday, June 4th from 4 to 7 p.m. at CVU. Come enjoy music, yard games, face painting, group activities, guest speakers, and more. Tickets pre-purchased online are $12 for adults and $6 for youth, 12 and under. Tickets purchased at the door are $16 and $8. Each ticket includes a voucher for one food item and one drink. All proceeds directly benefit the Vermont Make-A-Wish Foundation. This event put on by CVU students with support from the CVU Business Program. Questions? Please contact Logan Vaughn. That's all the news for this week. Have a great week, CVU. We'll see you next time.